Good morning, everybody, and welcome to GSC at Home, your daily dose of science from Glasgow Science Centre at 10 a.m. My name is CJ, I'm going to be your science communicator for today, and today we are going to look at a scientific phenomenon that laid unnamed and undiscovered all the way until the year 2013. It's one that we call the mold effect, discovered by YouTube scientist Stephen Mould, and when he discovered it, he had a very similar jar full of very similar beads. And he wanted people to know this experiment existed and he wanted people to know how it worked but he didn't exactly know how it worked so he fired the video online and he let the scientific community try and work out how this phenomenon worked now i'm going to show you this phenomenon once then we're going to go over it and then i'll do it one more time so this right here is the mold effect Ooh, lots of beads spilling out onto the ground now i'm going to tell you exactly how it works so for this experiment to work, the best way to think about it is to imagine somebody on a skateboard. Now when someone's on a skateboard, they like to perform tricks. And one basic trick that you can perform is called an ollie. How do I know it's a basic trick? Well, you just press X on the Tony Hawk's games and it makes the skateboard jump. And what happens is the skateboarder kicks down on the back of the board and it makes the board jump up. The way that works is you're sending a downward force onto the back of that board that's telling that board that you need to go down. You need to go down through this very solid ground. But the board can't go through the solid ground because the ground, as we've just said, is pretty solid. But that force needs to do something. And if it can't go down, well, what it does instead is it lifts itself all the way up into the air. Now, believe it or not, the same thing actually happens with this effect. Because between each of these beads, there is a tiny metal rod. And that metal rod is really, really rigid. And as I pull the chain here, the, the chain starts to lift. And the rods on the bottom here also start to lift up. But as they start to lift up, the bottom end of the rod is trying to turn down through the rest of the beads. And because it can't go through the beads, just like the solid ground below us, all that force throws the beads up into the air and creates that wonderful arc that you've seen. Now, if we were able to do this off a higher height, you'd see a much bigger arc. But since we're just here in the Science Centre, you're going to see a small one. Hope you've enjoyed a little bit learning about the mould effect. Now we're going to let this go one more time. And when I let it go for the second time, I like to do it big. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the countdown from five. You can even join in at home if you want. Then we're going to let this one go. So, everybody watching GSC at home, thank you for tuning in. We're going to let this go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, behold the mould! Thank you very much and enjoy GSC at home.